The Lord is with you. And also with you. We continue to see God speak to us from the Gospel and the tradition of Luke. Glory to you, Lord. As Jesus stood by Lake Gennesaret, the crowd pressed on him to hear the word of God. He saw two boats moored by the side of the lake. The fishes had disembarked and were washing their nets. Jesus got into one of the boats, the one belonging to Simon, and asked him to pull out a short distance from the shore. Then remaining seated, he continued to teach the crowds from the boat. When he had finished speaking, he said to Simon, pull out into the deep water and lower the nets for a catch. Simon said, Rabbi, we have been hard at it all night long and have caught nothing. But if you say so, I will lower the nets. Upon doing this, they caught such a great number of fish that their nets were at the breaking point. They signaled to their mates in the other boat to come and help them. These came, and together they filled the two boats until they nearly sank. When Simon saw what happened, he was filled with awe and fell down before Jesus, saying, <coughs> Leave me, I beg you, for I am a sinner. Simon and the shipmates were astounded, as were James and John, Zebedee's sons, who were Simon's partners. And Jesus said to Simon, Don't be afraid. From now on, you will be catching people. And when they brought their boats to the shore, they left everything and followed Jesus. This is the gospel, the good news of our salvation. Praise, Praise Lord, 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 Lord. By the words of the gospel, may our sins be blotted out. Amen. So we gather, and as always, we thank God we can be here. And obviously, it is good for us to be uh, notice the green. It'll be gone the next time we gather as a community of faith. The Alleluia will be gone the next time we gather as a community of faith. The glory to God will be gone as well. And we all know the reason. Right? Yes, sir. Right. Lent. Okay, Lent. Just as a reminder, on Wednesday we will have a Mass at 12 noon and at 7 p.m. And uh, Brother John put the books out, which is our annual uh, gift to you for Advent and for Lent. Uh, the books are there so you can begin using them on Wednesday morning. Uh, the author of the books uh, is a woman whose writings I follow a great deal, and it's, it's good to have a woman's voice, um, maybe a little bit <coughs> calmer than most of the other books that are available. So please take one um, and use them. Also, beginning on Wednesday when we come back to church, the holy water will be gone. There will be no water in the font, so don't think that we forgot. <laughs> it just isn't there. And the reason why it's not there is because we then will be blessing the new water at the East Division. And we look around the church, and we still see the poinsettias. For some people, all they see are the poinsettias and the lilies of Easter. Because a lot of people, as you know, aren't as blessed as we are that we hear every week. But the amazing thing is that it's such an early Ash Wednesday that the green flat, these poinsettias look like we could leave them out for the rest of the year. They've kept it there beautifully because it's been so chilly in the building. <laughs> What the, the point of ashes 
and I know we're going to talk about it again on Wednesday. But if you don't get ashes, that doesn't mean you're going to go to hell. And if you get ashes, it doesn't mean you're going to go to heaven. What matters very simply is where the ashes are being put. And what are we willing to do to make those ashes meaningful to us? We hear the, the reading today, the, read, the first reading at the very end. Here I am, send me. And that's got to be, that should be the mantra that we use during Lent. Here I am, send me. Now you might say to yourself, I've never spoken in public before. I, I don't have the, the desire to, to say anything, to preach anything. And then what comes to mind is very simply the words of our St. Francis, our Father Francis. Preach the gospel every day and use words when necessary. We don't have to say a word to preach the gospel. Not at all. Peter and, uh, Peter and his uh, buddies over here, Peter, James, and John, I, who I constantly refer to as Jesus' as three musketeers, they had no kind of experience. They were probably, uh, as Father Vinny would say, stop the mind, and they were completely, completely uh, not knowing what to do. And what did, they, what did they do? They left their families and followed in Jesus' footsteps. Because they felt so compelled to follow this man who, to them, really was the image of God incarnate. And when we look at the, the image of the boat, go out into the deep and lower the nets. We're in that boat every day. We're in the boat of life. And when things are calm, everything's okay. We're in No problem. Everything's good. Everything's just fine. And then something happens. Somebody gets sick. A family member is very badly ill. Somebody loses a job. There's a divorce. Somebody dies. Somebody moves away. And then it's, oh God, where are you? Why did you leave me alone? And I've said this to you many times, my friends my brothers and sisters, it's not us that leave. It's not God that leaves, I'm sorry, it's us. We're, we're the one to pull back. That's why at the opening prayer we talk about the time to rest in God's law. If we don't take that time to rest, we're good for nothing for ourselves or for anybody else. Simon says to Jesus, I am a, I'm a sinner, go away from me. And one of the images we have in the vestibule is of Jesus' arm <clears throat> around a young person who is obviously also a sinner. Just like Jesus' arms are around you and me. None of us are perfect, and yet we know people who think they are. That's another story. Okay. So when the boat gets rocky, and it will, God is there. God is there to steer that ship. God is there to hold on to that rudder and to keep us afloat keep us going. And especially during this time of Lent. 
when we're, we're going to be even more tempted not to say prayers. We're going to be more tempted to be less Christ-like because that spirit of the devil, whatever terminology you want to use, whatever name you want to use, works over time. So beware, but be confident and be not afraid. Pray for me as I pray for you. And may God bless us and keep us. May God's face shine upon us and give us peace now and always. Amen. Amen.